Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn about one more topic that is IAM tax. You can tell, you can tell me where do we use tax in our daily life? If we go to wholesale shop or any shops in mall, in malls or if we go to DMOT, there you find tax on every item, right? Yes. So what do the tag contain? It contains product details, right? Yes. So for every product, can this tag available? Yes. Can I say by using tags, we can able to identify products and product details? Yes. By using these tags, we can able to identify products and product details. Here also. Here also in AWS, it is similar to the real life tax only. In similar to that, in AWS also, these tags are used to identify the resources. Why these tags are used? These tags are used to do what? Identify the resources. What are the resources we have in AWS? Those are nothing but services. To identify what are the service that we use for that, for that resource, we can use this tag. We can use these tags for all resources in AWS. So this tag can be used to is there any restriction to use this tag? No. We can use tags. We can use tags to all resources. All resources which are present in AWS. If you go to any service in AWS, for that service, you can able to use this tags. Okay. Why do we use these tags? We use to identify the resource. Can we use this tag for all resources? Yes, we can use it for all resources. That is, we can attach tag to EC2 instance. I can even attach these tags to S3 as well. For elastic load balancer, can I able to attach this? Can I able to create tags for the elastic load balancer? Yes. Can we able to create tags for EC2 instance? Yes. Can I able to create tags for S3 buckets. Yes, we can able to create tags. So for every like this, what are the resources which are present in AWS? For every resource in AWS, we can able to attach a tag. <clears throat> so by using this tag, what we can able to do? We can able to identify the resource and this can be attachable to any resource in the AWS. <clears throat> so let's see, when do we use this tag? So these tags can be used. These tags can, can be used. So let me provide you an example. Let's say you have 100 users. You have 100 users in your account. To identify a user, to identify a particular user, can I say this tag is useful? Yes. To identify a particular user, this tag is useful. Let's say I want to add a new user named Ajay to my IAM users. Can I able to create tag for him? Can I able to create tag for him? To identify user in, in that tag, can I able to provide name as, can I able to provide name as Ajay? Can I able to provide in the tag for the newly created user Ajay for that tag can I able to provide name as Ajay yes you can able to provide name as Ajay let's say I added name as Ajay in the tag for newly created user Ajay then can I call this name comma Ajay as key value pairs name and Ajay as key value pairs name is key and Ajay is value for this key for this key the value is what? Ajay. 
so can i call can i call this tag as a key value pairs of course so tags are nothing but so what tags are tags are nothing but key value pairs what tags tags are nothing but key value pairs that's it tags are key value pairs tags are nothing but key value pairs why do we use to identify the resource we use this tags can i use this tags for every resource yes what does this tags contain key value pairs sir you told us in previous video that arn is used for arn is also used for identification but now you are telling these tags are also used for identification purpose what is the difference between these tags and arn what is the difference between tags and arn so let me answer you this question as well these tags versus arns right yes tags versus arns tags versus arn so now you can tell me tags are created by whom tags are created by whom based on creation let, let us separate them based on creator based on creator who create this tags we only write we will create the tags by using key value pairs we only create the tags that means who creates us we create the tags who create the tags we create the tags coming to arn who create the arn sir who provide the arn for us what is arn amazon resource name it will be unique for each and every each and every resource this is unique id right so in similar way who will provide this for us aws will provide this for us so who will create this arn aws so this is the basic difference between tags and arn tags are created by us based on our need to identify the resource whereas coming to arn it is created by aws it's a amazon resource name okay let's say there are two solution artets there are two solution artets solution artet 1 and solution artet 2 let's say there are two solution artets solution artet 1 and solution architect 2 these two guys are present in my company these two will maintain my cloud now i given a task to both of them the task is the task is nothing but delete what is the task the task i given is since they are working in my company i given a task what is the task delete all iam users delete all iam users delete all iam users except except delete all iam users except ajay since we created ajay right previously except that ajay delete all iam users i told to both the solution artet associates now let's see how they done solution artet one is a very hard worker he always love to love to learn new things and work very hard if required so what he did he manually he manually the solution artet associate manually go and delete manually go and delete all the users except iam user with the name as ajay so in this way he finished the task manually finished task so what what does he did manually he finished the task it's really a very hard task since uh, let's say in my company there are 100 user 100 employees then for those 100 employees i have i am accounts for deleting those 100 employees will takes very much time right yes so he did is he did it manually this solution artet now it's the turn of another one that is solution artet 2 he is actually smart employee he is actually a smart worker 
is actually a smart worker what does he did let's see i really amazed with his work i really amazed with his work he did this work in very less time compared to solution architect one and even he even he worked very less compared to solution architect one but he did a fantastic job so let's see what he did what he did he created a lambda function he created a lambda function so what does this function do he created he created lambda function and he written a python code in it that python code will automatically deletes whatever the iim users present in my account where the user name is not ajay he put the condition that the iim user no name is not ajay then only delete that then delete that iim user like that he just picked each and every iim user which is present in the in my account and then and then he automatically delete he deleted the every user in automated way so what he did he did automated task automation he did automation to finish the task right to finish the task he used lambda function he used automation by using lambda function and just finished task with less time with less effort with with less time less effort he now completed the task so you can see how the smart worker and what is the efficient solution what is the best practice solution arted to right yes he is appreciated and he got awarded a few more coupons that means a few more cookies were raised to him but hard worker that is solution arted one even though he worked very hard and he manually finished the task he does not own the game so that's why he doesn't get any cookies so now what do you learn from this so from this we can able to we can able to reduce the task by using automation he just he just taken tags as reference here by using tags as reference except ajay tag he deleted all the iim users all the iim users whose tags is not ajay he deleted automatically all the i am users by using what lambda function so from this with respect to tags can i say tags are useful for automated automation purpose can tags are useful for automation purpose yes tags are useful for automation automation purpose where tags are used automation purpose these tags are used why tags are used to identify particular resource these tags are used how the tag will be it will be like key value pair okay let's say i stopped all my ec2 instances except a instance with tag name is personal server with tag name is let's say i stopped all my servers in my company i have multiple servers except Mm, I stopped all the servers except the server with name personal server, right? Yeah. With the lambda automation code, I did this. Can I say from this? Let's say I have multiple EC2 instances which are running at night, but I know during night during night time, no user is using my systems. So to reduce the cost. to optimize the cost what i need to do i need to stop the ec2 instances that means very less ec2 instance that i need to run during night times so i just tagged some more what uh, how many ec2 instance i feel exists excess those many ec2 instance i just tagged as i just tagged as excess or else can i say 
दोज आर सफिशियंट टू माई नाइट टाइम ऑल्सो आई जस्ट टैग द मैस पर्सनल सर्वस आई जस्ट टैग द मैस पर्सनल सर्वस नो माई टास्क इज टू स्टॉप द इजी टू इंस्टेंसेस विच आर नॉट पर्सनल सर्वर्स राइट यस सो हाउ कैन आई डू दिस आई कैन डू दिस बै यूजिंग ए लैमडा फंक्शन बै यूजिंग ऑटोमेशन आई कैन डू दिस वेर एज इन लैमडा फंक्शन आई नीड टू राइट ए कोड अ पाइथन कोड वेर इन दट कोड आई नीड टू स्पेसीफाई इफ माई की वैल्यू पेयर ऑफ टैक्स और नेम एंड पर्सनल सर्वर देन डू नॉट स्टॉप दैट और डू नॉट टर्मिनेट दैट इंस्टेंस अदरवाइज टर्मिनेट द इंस्टेंस so in that way i have written the code so once if i execute the code then within seconds within seconds all my instances got terminated right yes so can i say from this tags are useful for cost optimization yes so tags are useful for cost optimization purpose as well so let me write that point tags are useful for cost optimization since i stopped my servers i got less cost so during night time so can i say we reduce the cost and we optimize the cost yes we minimize the cost yes so tax are used for optimization purpose so what does tax contains are it contain key value pair right yeah for example नेम कामा अजय आर की वैल्यू पेर लाइक दिस हाउ मेनी मैक्स नंबर ऑफ टैक्स कैन आई एबल टू अटैच टू ए रिसोर्स हाउ मेनी मैक्स नंबर ऑफ टैक्स कैन आई एबल टू अटैच टू ए रिसोर्स अदर क्वेश्चन इज मैक्स नंबर ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ टैक्स मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ टैक्स दट कैन आई एबल टू attach max number of tags that can i able to attach to a resource sir what is the resource resource may be ec2 instance s3 or whatever the service may be you can took any service as your resource so for a resource how many tags can i able to attach i can able to attach 50 tags why zero 50 tags this ajay name ajay is one tag like that i can able to add multiple tags 50 tags up to 50 tags i can able to attach so this is a important certification question everybody need to remember this how many maximum number of tags that i can able to attach to a resource that is 50 tags 5050 50 tags that i need to attach that i can able to attach now you can tell me is it best practice to use this tags yes it is best practice to use this tags if there is a need if there is a need is the is it becomes the best practice to use the tags yes sir do do we use the tags is it necessary is it necessary to use the tags no tags are optional tags are optional if you need then use the tags tax are optional tax usage is optional if you want then you can use if you don't want then it's okay so to identifying to add to identifying any resource do you do we need tax yes okay can i use this tax for any particular resource or any resource yeah we can able to use this for any type of resource how the tags will be it will be like key value pair okay tags are useful for automation purpose yes tags are cost optimized yes what is the maximum number of tags that i can able to attach to a resource that is 50 only so tags are optional yes are these tags are important yes if i use these tags for automation can i say it's a best practice yes so by using this tags you can able to do these things so i hope you understood this video and you learned tax concept in aws so i hope you got some content from this video so if you think this video is contentful then please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching 
see you back in the next video until then bye bye see you guys